just a few weeks away here from hurricane season starting and a government climate watchdog is sounding an alarm. They predict sea level rise as much as one foot by the year 2050. That is more than they previously thought. And as part of our ongoing look at the changes in our weather forecasting change, News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval found out it is not just coastal cities that need to be on alert, Eric. Yeah, sort of surprising here, guys. We analyzed these projections that were issued by the federal government. Of course, they show higher water levels along the coastline. But that water, as you see here, is predicted to push up the St. John's River. And we found out that could impact a town that knows flooding all too well. 2017, Hurricane Irma carves a path straight through central Florida. I've been here for a couple of hurricanes and this is the worst. Pastor Terry Holland gave New Six a tour of flooded neighborhoods that followed that storm as he checked on his fellow residents in the town of Astor. You guys basically had a command center here though helping the entire community. We did at that time. We uh, It was kind of thrust upon us. It wasn't something that we planned for. It was just something that happened. And we found out it could happen again and more frequently. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, predicts sea levels could rise as much as one foot by the year 2050. Maps from Climate Central show the impact that could have along the central Florida coastline. The red represents rising water levels. But take a look at what happens along the St. Johns River. Water levels there also rise, and they start to overflow the river's banks, taking over streets in some areas. I've walked in that area over there hunting, and all that's going to be underwater, that's going to be pretty serious. We showed the prediction to Holland. This is the first time I've heard anything about it. Is you coming here telling us? Is it eye-opening? Yes. Surprising? No. New 6 meteorologist Jonathan Kagas says the prediction could get worse for Aster if a storm moves through, especially since the river flows right through town. The scary part about this is that now a Category 1 storm could do what a Category 3 storm would do in terms of the storm surge. New 6 investigated and we found out the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working on a plan to protect Aster from more flooding. They tell us they've submitted a proposal to figure out which areas of Aster are at the most risk. And once that's determined, state and federal agencies would then work together to find a solution. But they say all of this is going to take time. Are you concerned? Yeah, I would be concerned about it, yes, sir, because uh, I don't know that we'd be ready for it unless there was some planning done ahead of time and, and some precautions taken ahead of time. So that proposal to study what can be done to shore up this town from future floodwaters is being considered in Washington right now. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers should find out if they're approved sometime in July. They could get the money to do it if they're approved by October. And, of course, we are going to be watching to see what happens. You talked about a specific area there, but I would imagine other areas of the St. John's River could see impacts from Absolutely. this as well. Absolutely. You know, according to these projections, a lot of the areas that uh, are affected are conservation areas, actually. So mm -hmm. few of any people actually live there still. There are some places around, say, Lake Monroe, Lake Jessup, that could see some issues. We put a really good interactive map for you to check out on our website, clickorlando.com. You can really zoom in and see if your area is going to be affected When you talk about the Army Corps of Engineers, though, looking for funding to try mm -hmm. and help this area, it seems like there's just not enough money to protect all the areas. Not all the areas, but they're looking at Aster in particular because yeah. it's a federal navigatable waterway right there, yeah. you know. So okay. where the most people live, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Yeah. Exactly. Eric, thank you very much. You I'm got sure it. you'll be reporting on that a lot more uh, in the future. Yeah.